I see six lumberjacks for Jeremy Vane. I see no lumberjacks for Michael Judas. I see Jeremy Vane trying to pull a harbor. Jeremy Vane attacking Michael Judas. And Michael Judas shoots him off. Jeremy Vane got caught. Jeremy Vane grabbed by the hair of the head. Harold James, our referee for this contest. Good grief. The Lumberjacks, oh good grief, wait a minute. This one might be over early. He's looking for El Crucifejo. Jeremy Vane, Jeremy Vane used that top rope for momentum and he quickly goes to the floor. Here comes Judas, the Lumberjacks. The Lumberjacks putting their bodies in harm's way. As Jeremy Vane rushes off, Vane looks for the elbow drop, gets nothing, and Michael Judas is raining down right hands. Judas has been wanting this for months. Well, you know, first of all, Michael Judas didn't even give Jeremy Vane a chance to get set for this match. And Michael Judas is not getting paid by the hour, folks. We ain't even gotten through three minutes, and for the second time, he's looking for the Crucifejo, and this time it's Rob Adonis that comes to Jeremy. Oh, good Lord. Coming in the hard way. Jeremy Vane is getting tossed around like a rag doll. There's no two ways about it. Well, Greg Hunter, you know, one other man that is not a stranger to this big match situation and hostile environment is Michael Judas. He was a very big part of hostile environment 2005, the inaugural hostile environment inside that steel cage, winning the NWA Anarchy Heavyweight Championship. Michael Judas looking for the Mafia kick, goes over the top rope, crashed into that apron hard, and then goes down like a sack of bricks. And now, the Lumberjacks going after, perfectly legal, Greg Hunter. Oh, not quite, they're supposed to put the guy back in the ring, not beat the bejesus out of him. They'll get him in there eventually. Uh, not exactly uh, good enough when it looks to the aspects of the rules. Finally, they deposit Michael Judas into the ring, but not until a thorough beatdown. Cover, hook of the leg, and not much more than a one. Well, it was a one count, says referee Harold James. And now Jeremy Vane clawing away at the face of Michael Judas. Jeremy Vane has done everything in his power to keep this from happening. He has thrown Rob Adonis in this man's way more than once. He's tried to put the guy out, trying to blind him with his own mist. Jeremy Vane has run scared from Michael Judas no. since day one. No. And now he's got the guy finally one-on-one, -on -one, or so we think. Instead, Jeremy Vane once again with his own advantage. It's by the looks of things here, let me count, seven on one. First of all, you're making Jeremy Vane sound like a coward. He is! That's blasphemy. Jeremy Vane is not a coward. There's nothing biblical about Jeremy Vane. It's not blasphemy. It is blasphemy. The man is a coward. He's done everything he can to dodge Michael Judas, and only when he's got the man outnumbered by six guys is he willing to face it. I tell you what, Greg Hunter, why don't you put the headset down and go in the ring and do something about it? Why don't you go wrestle Michael Judas? Why don't you go wrestle Jeremy Vane? I've been on the receiving end of Jeremy Vane before, thank you very much. Michael Judas trying to take care of the Lumberjacks before Rob Adonis lures the boom. Rob Adonis cares so much about it. Jeremy Vane perfectly content to let the six Lumberjacks do his dirty work. Now a boot to the head as Jeremy Vane taking advantage of this situation, now choking Michael Judas out on that middle rope, and now the Lumberjacks following suit. Now, you know, first of all, what they're doing is they're trying to keep Michael Judas from running away. That's what they're doing. The they're man doing. couldn't get out of the ring. He was draped over the middle rope. They weren't exactly helping him do nothing. He was trying to run. Uh, he was doing no such thing. Gord Buster by Jeremy Vane. One, two, and only a two count. Jeremy Vane with a somewhat arrogant cover there. And right now, 
the four-time former television champion of the world, the untouchable Jeremy Vane continuing to press his advantage on Michael Judas, and at every opportunity, Jeremy Vane drawing the referee away so that his lumberjacks can pound away on the longest reigning anarchy champion of all time, the priest of punishment, Michael Judas. Have you seen Michael Judas treated this way lately, Greg Hunter? I mean, look at him. Look at what Jeremy Vane has done to Michael Judas single-handedly in the center of the ring. One man has not been able to do this to Michael Judas in quite some time. You're right, and one man is not doing it to him now. Seven men are doing it to Michael Judas. I didn't see that on my monitor, sir. The monitor shorted out about five minutes ago, John Johnson. You ain't seen nothing on it. Watch the ring. You're only seven feet away. Good grief. Michael Judas on the receiving end of a legalized mugging. That's what this is, folks. As Jeremy Payne pulls Michael Judas, hooks a leg, and only a two count. Michael Judas, it's going to take a whole heck of a lot to put Michael Judas down and keep him there. And as much as I hate to say this, there's a whole heck of a lot in and around that ring right now. Well, Greg, I mean, you're looking, you know, Jeremy Vane has assembled a great cast out here. I mean, this right here is just phenomenal talent at ringside. Michael Judas, Michael Judas has the man goozled and Jeremy Vane goes low as Rob Adonis, oh good God! Might be a kick, and Jeremy Vane's bridge work is done. Well, what they need to do right now is they need to give Jeremy Vane about a three minute, you know, sit down session. Let him get a chance to gain his senses back to him. Make sure he's okay. Make sure there was no, you know, damage done. And then we can restart the match. What they need to do is they need to get Jeremy Vane back in the ring. They are lumberjacks. The job is to put a man back in the ring once he goes to the they floor. They got him back in. But yeah, after they gave him a good breather, Jeremy Vane, right hand. Michael Judas has taken an incredible amount of punishment just now getting back to his feet. And Michael Judas, Michael Judas is not looking phased whatsoever. Oh, good Lord, big right hand, make it two. Down goes Vane. Hat trick, close line. And Jeremy Vane is not looking terribly untouchable at the moment. Well, you know something, Greg Hunter, Michael Judas taking out all this frustration on Jeremy Vane, the frustration that he's not been able to beat Jeremy Vane ever. Uh, right now, Michael Judas, who has his fair share of frustrations as it, re as it is in regard to Jeremy Vane. Several of those frustrations are at ringside. And Michael Judas is taking out a whole lot of aggression on Greenville, South Carolina's Jeremy Vane. Big clothesline into the corner. Big mafia kick. The momentum carries Judas to the floor. The Lumberjacks try to get to him, but Judas mounts the top rope. He will fly! Close line, and down goes Vane. Well, right now, if I was Jeremy Vane, I would run. Wait a minute now, what are they doing back out here? I believe they are called Lumberjacks, and they are trying to even the odds. Well, wait a minute. Jay Clinton, the all-star, just got caught. Jay Clinton had that chair, the referees trying to control the Lumberjacks. And, uh, oh good Lord, Jay Clinton is up. Jay Clinton, El Crucifejo. That looked next to Kent to a mosh pit. And now, Ramadonis, choke slam. Down goes the bodyguard. Jeremy Vane sets up. VDT, he just spiked. Michael Judas. That's going to be it right there. Michael Judas is dead. On That's the a... chair. He VDT'd him on the chair. I didn't see a chair out there. Not anymore. He shoved it and his bodyguard out of the way. Hook of the leg. Long time. Only a two count. Come on. You know that was a three. I could have counted a 50 on that one, Greg Hunter. It very well may have been a three. Referee Harold James tried to control the carnage on the floor. Had to get back into position. Michael Judas had ample time to recover. Jeremy Vane loading that boot up. 
It looks like he's wanting the VKO. He is certainly poised for it. And now he goes up. VKO misses. Michael Judas gets the man, has him up. El Crucifejo, perhaps. Jeremy Van is seeing his life flash before his eyes. Did you see the look of Jeremy Van's eyes? Cover two. Good night, Jeremy. Let's go to Kevin Marks for the official word.